Hello everyone and welcome back to John Bill's Icon in Milton Mods. Okay, so in today's video I'm just adding all the little uh, hammock cranes to the uh, the forward rail that surrounds the uh, the weather deck. That's a little bit of a challenge because these uh, these hammock cranes are only 0 0.5, 0 0.5 or a mil thick. So I'm trying to mount them in a way that they'll uh, they'll last a lifetime. It's quite tricky, but I think I found a way sorting that out so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again soon take care everyone okay so this is the uh the, the forward railing the scary thing is about this is i've made this nearly uh, two and a half years ago so yeah it's about time i kind of got it finished off so i just made myself a little jig and that's only so i can pretty much just hold it in position while i uh, work on it a lot of these jigs once these kind of built just to be used once Okay, so in the instructions, we need to get these little uh, these little railings. We get loads of these. I've actually got a little video on the uh, on the membership and the patrons that actually showed you where I took these out of the uh, the little uh, threads and I paired them. So yeah, same again. I think I did this video back in uh, back in May. Okay, so we needed the seven more ones. So these are all the ones that I paired. So what I like to do is before we actually fit them is I just like to uh, blacken them off it just makes them a lot easier to wear with once they once they're black so what I use is this uh, this brass black and I've had this uh, in two or three years as well so this is the the beechwood cassie blast, uh, brass black metal finish so just a little bit of shake and I use a little pipette just take a bit out just drop a bit into there so what I'm going to do now is we'll get all these Start to drop them in and drop them all in. So, drop them in, and I normally just make sure that they're all being moved into the uh, into the brass black. Just spin them around, and make sure that the, uh, they they not getting cold. Some of them get colder better than others for some reason. So just keep moving them around, and I know I tend to leave them for around about ten minutes just to. Uh, blacken off okay so once these i've had about five minutes or ten minutes in the uh blackening solution we'll just take them all out and i think that's them all okay you, know, you can actually like leave that to one side and it, it's it's funny because it will go completely clear again so yeah you can actually use that again so what i'm gonna do now is just Fold the kitchen towel over and then just press it down. And then that's all them all blackened off and a lot easier to uh, if you want to see, add another coat of paint on them or just leave them as that. But what I've found is some of the black can rub off. So what I tend to do is once I've blackened them off, after I've left them five minutes, I tend to go over to them just a little bit of matte varnish. It does uh, stop any of the uh, the black rubbing off. But we'll leave them to dry five minutes and we'll work on this actual railing itself. Okay, so when I fitted the uh, the railing that went onto the poop deck, these little uh, these little stanchions, I actually bent slightly bent it over on the end. So let me get one of these ones to dry. I actually just uh, bend that end over and then I glued them down facing that way just using that little bottom edge it's a bit more of a glue surface but what i'm going to try on this one i think it's actually a lot better is this time i'm just going to use my razor saw i'm going to actually cut a tiny little hole and i've already done that with a couple just to practice and all they do now is just fit inside that tiny little uh, cut hole and it does actually make them just uh, I think it just makes them fit so much better. Where this, when I was fitting the other one, when it was just even on the glue surface, as soon as I started to put that this top piece of the rope in, they started to fall off. So by, by just cutting that little score line in, I think that would be a lot better. So I fit another one, cut one there, next one along. I'm just going to super glue these in in a minute. But now I'm going to move across and do the next one. So I've got myself. A little uh, T square, I made that myself. I make most things myself. And all I'm going to do, just looking to go down the center of this column. So I'm just going to mark it on the centers with this little pencil. 
And then I'm going to bring across my little T-square. Mark I've just made. Make sure that's square. And then just score a line. So that's that's pretty much marked. Now so what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take my little razor saw, line up that little mark I've made. And just cut a trench around about probably 0.5 of a mil. Then hopefully then the next one along fit in nice and uh, flush like that. So what I'm gonna do, I'll do the same again, I'll do one more. Just mark the center of that column. Using the T square, mark all the way across. And the same again. Razor saw, line up the uh, mark. And pretty much once the, the teeth aren't visible anymore, you know that's about half a half a mil. All you do is sit there, so then the kind of columns are uh, just protruding up over each side. So, what I'm going to do now is just going to cut them along all the way across, and I'm just going to fit them in with a little bit of super glue, just attach a little bit of super glue to the bottom. I'll do that now, just put one in. So, I'm just going to get a little bit of super glue, to put it into one of these little spaces, and then just take the one you want, and then just run it in like a a bit of super glue bath and then just dump off the excess and the same like say you want it right in the middle so the columns are just coming over and fit that one in okay so all i'm going to do like i say just cut them exactly the same fit these the same again inside that little super glue bath and then we'll come back okay so now the sg2 Start fitting this uh, top rail, and the instructions I use are uh, brass and wire. But I'm just going to use some uh, five mil thread just for this. I think it's a bit better. I've done that on the other side, and all I've done to make it as kind of hard as uh, brass, I've just super glued it. It makes it very rigid. So I'm going to get this five mil thread. I'm just going to start feeding it in. So glued the end of the. Uh, the thread to make it easy to go through, but it's still not because these eye bolts are only around about five mil thick, so that's why it's just about goes through. I'm just gonna keep pushing it through. Just more. Okay, so I'm gonna pull a bit, a bit longer, and then just chop a bit off. So on this jig, I've got a little slot. So all I'm gonna do is drop a bit of this uh, thread just down there to kind of pinch it. So that's pinched that there. So I'm gonna pull that tight. That will make it all nice and rigid. So all I'm gonna do now is gonna pull this nice and tight, and then wrap it, hold it with my finger, and then I can just get the tweezers. And then just make any adjustments on these uh, little uh, columns, make sure they're running all nice and true. I'm also happy, making sure that's still really pulled really tight. Which looks good. Now I can start to introduce some uh, super glue. I'm just going to do one on each end first. Start doing the uh, next columns along.
Okay, so like I said, just to make this a bit more rigid, now I'm just going to run super glue along all the uh, the thread. And just a little bit along just the edges. Okay, so now you can kind of leave that a couple of minutes, and then all you do is just come along and then just cut off the end. Both sides. And that's the, uh, the top rail fitted. So all we need now to do is I need to paint this black, so I'll just paint that black off there. Camera, it's just case I just you know, see me paint things black a thousand times. Then I'm going to come back and I will start fitting this uh, canvas net. Okay, so as you can see, I've, I've installed this uh, this forward rail, so it's quite tricky to fit this uh, netting on camera. Every time I played the footage back, all you could see was my hand covering the shot. So, so it was case I just laid in this, this net into these little hammock cranes. I came across just a little length of a timber that fit exactly between the cranes and that kind of holds it in position and just reveals that top edge and all I had to do which is very uh, painstaking is I had to hand stitch it all the way across on both sides and then just cut off the excess so all that's left me to do now is just install some of these hammocks so I went by the uh, the size on the instructions but I think they're a little bit too long and look a bit too large so I think I'm going to probably uh, make some smaller ones but that's pretty much another main section of the, uh, the quarter deck all finished Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. So we just thought we'd go, I just want to show you this. It's the the new Victory 100 gun uh, first rate. And it's a brand new uh, book by uh, Kerry Zhang. And it's, uh, I've just been sent it, it's a review copy. And I think it's uh, absolutely excellent. It's a really good uh, illustration for, for model makers. Like I say, I don't normally do book reviews, but yeah, when I was offered this, I thought well it's clearly suited to my audience so yeah so look out for that for later in the week hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you all again take care everyone